Hey everybody, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on this channel, we talk about topics such as business, entrepreneurship, and side hustles. And in today's video, it's gonna be the first installment of my side hustle series. And of course, for the first one, why not talk about YouTube? So I've been on YouTube for the past two years and I've been monetized for the past year and a half. So my channel took six months to get monetized. And a lot of people ask, is YouTube still worth it in 2022? So we're gonna talk about that when I first started my YouTube channel like my channel was basically about starting a hair business different things that I went through with that business I was packaging orders talking about how to find vendors all types of stuff relating to hair so now my channel has shifted just a little bit to more so of how to start your business different how-to tutorials such as getting an EIN getting your LLC how to do different designs on Canva so everything along those lines so what I want to do for my channel going forward is talk more about still the how to start a business topic such as marketing more branding and then I want to do more entrepreneur vlogs and then my side hustle series with this side hustle series we're going to talk about everything side hustles so starting off is YouTube so is YouTube still worth it in 2022 short answer yes so I'm going to break down my analytics of one of my most viewed videos, which was my how to start a business plan, which that video was uploaded back in 2020. So I'm going to tell you how much I got paid for it, how much advertisements are paying for it, and letting you know how you can get monetized. So the first thing that I want to talk about is what are the different ways that you can make money on YouTube? First one that everyone typically knows about is the Google AdSense. This is where different advertisers pay to place ads on your video and your videos can have ads in the middle in the beginning and at the end so however you want to structure it if your video is longer than eight minutes you can have unlimited ads if your video is shorter than eight minutes then youtube controls where they put the ads another way that you can monetize your youtube channel and these are outside of the google assets which is the most popular way is, is through affiliate links so affiliate links is those links that you see primarily a lot of people have amazon links where it'll say hey this is my filming equipment if you click this link the creator will get a percentage of whatever you purchase so that's another common way that people make money on youtube another way is through sponsorships so sponsorships work if a company contacts you hey Hey, we would like you to do they can either have you do a full dedicated video sometimes maybe a two minute plug or a 45 second plug in the video they might even send you products or want you to introduce their service to your audience either way it's still a good source of revenue for your youtube channel another one that you can do is so what i have on my channel is you can see at the bottom which i'm going to pull it up is i sell merchandise so you can sell t-shirts, coffee mugs, sweatshirts, pretty much whatever they have on the different links. And I believe for this one, you need to have 10,000 subscribers for your clothing line to show up at the bottom. But that's another way to add revenue to your channel. And then the last one is through if you offer a course or eBooks. So as you can see with my how to start a business plan video, there's a link to go to the free template and with that free template, cause you know, sometimes the free information is not enough. You can actually pay to have the full outline emailed to you. And I would say for my channel, that's been the most profitable for me, which is selling my eBooks, my digital products, and also offering my one-on-one -on -one services, but it's different for every channel. Now back to my YouTube analytics. So as I was saying, it took me six months to get monetized on my channel and to get monetized, what you'll need is one, you'll need 1000 subscribers. And that's pretty easy if you're just starting off because you can share on your Instagram, your Facebook or whatever social media platforms you're on to let your audience know, hey, I just made a YouTube channel. Come over here and subscribe to my channel. And the second qualification that you need is 4000 watch hours. Now 4000 watch hours is a lot of time and you'll reach that faster by I upload more content every content creator is paid differently on YouTube based on the type of content that they create my channel is about business side hustle entrepreneurships so my pay rate is typically a little bit higher so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my analytics but before I do that 
how much, and drop this in the comment section, how much do you think I made on a video with 300,000 views? So drop that in the comment section below and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my analytics and walk you guys through step by step of what each analytic means. This is my analytics for the how to write a business plan video. As you can see in the analytics section, it does have the total amount of views that you have, the amount of watch hours that you receive for this video, how many subscribers you received, and the estimated revenue. So as you can see, this video has already gotten 307,000 views already. And then also I'm going to show you guys on the right side where it says real time. So that shows you how much views you've gotten in the last 48 hours. And then it also tells you where your views came from. So 54% of my views came from the YouTube search. Now we're going to go ahead and pull up the revenue tab. And before I reveal that full revenue, I'm going to go over just a few of the different definitions that we have on this screen. The first one I want to talk about is the CPM. The CPM stands for the cost per meal. So that's the cost per 1,000 impressions. So essentially what that means is per every 1,000 views, an advertiser is paying on average $71.14. As you can see, it varies by the days. On most days, it's 100. Sometimes it can get as low as 50. And I think the highest that I had was 178. So that's what CPM means. And then your RPM is how much you actually get paid. So your RPM is how much you get paid per 1,000 views on your videos. And that is after YouTube takes this cut. And as I've told you before, my channel does have a higher RPM and CPM rate. On average, just to be transparent, a lot of people make about 6 to $8 per 1,000 impressions. And as you can see, mine is a lot higher than that based on the type of content that I do. And now I'm going to go ahead and reveal how much I made from this video with just 300,000 views. And as you can see, that total amount is $12,808.93. So a couple of things that I'm going to point out with this video, as you can see that at the bottom, it says revenue sources. Your estimated ad revenue was $12,777.99. And that's just the money from ads placed on the video. And then we have your YouTube premium revenue. So that's revenue from like when people pay for the premium YouTube subscriptions. So you automatically get a percentage of those prescriptions that the people are paying. And that total amount was $30.94. And then we have the different ad types. And as you can see, you get paid a lot more from having the skippable video ads on your videos, which made up 93.2% of the revenue on my videos. And then the next thing we're going to look at is how much money we actually made. Like as the video continued to grow, you can see it was uploaded on June 9th. And at that time we were not monetized. So it's going to start off at $0. And then the first day after we got monetized, we started making $5 and it just continued to increase from there. So with your videos, it's important to just be patient. Like just let your video sit. And then as time goes by, once YouTube once the YouTube algorithm picks them up, that video will just continue making money, as you can see, like this one. And real quick, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Rolex video just so I can show you guys how different the CPMs and the RPMs can be. So as you can see on this video, which this was just a simple unboxing video, the CPM is $8.02 with an RPM of $4.28. As you can see, that's a huge difference compared to my other video where the CPM was on average $71. So your CPM and RPM and how much you get paid on YouTube is all going to depend on the different type of content you create. Some have high CPM, some have low CPM. So just all based on whatever you want to do your videos on. So, thank you so much for watching this video today and if y'all want to see more content like this where I break down different numbers for side hustles, business, entrepreneurship, whatever else, drop that in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feeling it. As always, go ahead and follow me on all my social media channels. I'm Destiny Adams on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, pretty much everything. And go ahead, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll check y'all on the next one. Peace.